Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see, I am in a different little space. I was gonna film in my filming room, but it is a hot mess. So I do apologize if there's like a loud echo or any sort of like, you know, echoing noise because the spot is very empty and I need to get some stuff to put in here. But today's video is in collaboration with Pretty Little Thing, and I'm super excited to show you guys what I picked up. If you guys didn't know, around this time of the year, it is Black Friday, and you know Pretty Little Thing is gonna be having these sales, okay? So definitely be sure to head over to Pretty Little Thing after you guys watch this video, of course. Everything will be linked down below in the description box so you guys can access everything in today's video very easily. I'll have everything linked below in the order that it was shown. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys pieces from a pretty little thing like I said. I'm going to be showing you guys like a little lookbook type of thing. Let me know if you guys like this. Um, I did pick pieces that I could put together to create little looks or whatever. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so we're going to open up bag number one. Bag number two has a shoe box in it, so you gotta be careful with this. Alright, let's go. Alright, so the very first item is the top that I was wearing in the intro, and this right here is such a vibe. Okay, I absolutely love this top. I love the way it fits, I love the color, I love the material. I love exactly where it stops. It's like the perfect, perfect crop knit sweater. I need this in every single color. I don't know if it came in any other colors, but if it was, I would definitely get all of them. This I did get in a size large because with crop sweaters, I always have the problem with if I get my regular size, which I could also fit a small or medium, they are a little bit too short. So for the length wise, I always go up a size. And I decided to get a large and I think it fits me perfectly, like perfectly. So for those who don't like to show too much midriff, you just want like a little peak. This is like the perfect sweater. Now I do recommend you size up because I feel like if you get your normal size or you size down, it will be shorter and shorter obviously. So like I said, I got a large and I think it fits perfectly. So with this top, I would also pair these heels which are from a pretty little thing as well. And with this colored top, I want to stick with the more earthy tones because I just love that whole look. So that's why I picked these shoes to go with this top. And you could just throw on any pants you have. You could throw on denim if you want, but I just thought it would look better with like some faux leather to kind of match the shoes. And these are so freaking cute. They do have lace up, as you guys know. I love my lace up. Lace it around my jeans or my pants. Okay, so next up we have this button down right here. And it looks as if it's like your typical flannel, but this is actually more of like a blouse material. It's very, very soft, very flowy, super, super cute. I got this in a UK 14 because in these types of shirts, I like to get the biggest size available, okay? Because I like for it to be very, very oversized. So if I do wear it open, it'll be a very slouchy, comfortable look. And if I also decide to wear it as a dress, which I am currently, then I can get away with it as well. So I'm 5'7", and this is how long it is on me. So something like this that's super flowy and doesn't really have much shape, I would just take a belt, any black belt that you have, and just bring in the waist a little bit. As you can see, it already looks a lot cuter, and just have it like this. I love this whole look. I would honestly, I'm gonna say I'd wear biker shorts because it is a little airy up under there and I just would like to feel a little bit more secure. And then I would also pair it with some thigh high black boots. Let's see how far I can go back. Okay, so it got a little bit too dark the further I went back. So yeah, this is super duper cute. I love this look so much. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone to be honest, but I'm liking it, okay? I'm loving this whole vibe. It's very girly, but very chill at the same time, which is me in a nutshell. So yeah, let's move on to the next look. Okay, so next up we have this sweatshirt and these jeans. And don't mind that, I do have on my knee brace because my knee is killing me. Y'all know I injured my knee earlier this year, so I have to wear this every once in a while. But anyways, I love this little sweatshirt. It is a size large. And in these jeans, I got a US 8. So I've been really loving sweatshirts and jeans lately. I don't really wear it that often, like the combination, but every time I see it, I'm just like, it looks so comfortable and just chill, but you look like you're trying, you know, type of thing. So I've been really liking 
pairing my sweatshirts with jeans and then like a pair of ones or some forces or something like that. So although these jeans do not have any stretch, they actually feel very comfortable on. I don't feel like restricted. It's not super tight around this area. It's usually my problem area when I get jeans is this area and I don't even have any hips so I don't ever know why I have that problem but in this area right here it's always really tight and very uncomfortable and it like squishes your booty and give you pancake booty so with this outfit you don't necessarily have to wear a bag but I just thought that this bag would be super cute because it has a basketball on the sweatshirt and then it's like a real chill sporty look so I just thought that this would go perfect with it and then obviously y'all already know my forces so yeah, this is just a real chill look. Like I said, you don't need a bag necessarily, but if you do plan on going somewhere and you need something to put stuff in, then you can just throw on like a tote or a real chill crossbody type of bag or whatever. But I just had this and I decided to pair it with this because it kind of matches a little bit. So yeah, let's move on to the next outfit. Okay, so next up we have this long sleeve top and this super cute plaid skirt. And I've been obsessed with these skirts lately. I don't know what it is. It's just, I don't even like skirts, you guys. Y'all know how I feel about skirts. But I've been obsessed with these pleated skirts because they just look so cute and feminine and it just gives me clueless vibes. And I just love the whole clueless aesthetic. So I love these freaking skirts. And this one, as you can see, is like a red plaid and it does have a split in it, which I'm not gonna show you guys too much but it has a split over here on the side so you know it gives a little sexiness so you could wear it like this and then have you know the split showing like that you could put it on the side you could put it in well I wouldn't put it in the front <laughs> don't put it in the front or the back sis but the side and right here is a good spot right here and then this long sleeve top it's not a bodysuit it's just a regular top is so freaking soft okay it is a slight high neck it's not like super like turtlenecky that's not a word but y'all get what I'm saying this I got in a US 6 and I just love the way that this looks as you can see I just swapped out my headband gave it a little bit more of a preppy look and then obviously I have on some thigh high boots but yeah this is one of my favorite looks in this video because Looks like I got a little junk in the trunk, okay sis? You guys let me know if you would rock this outfit. It is super cute. It would even be really cute if I had like a beret. I do have a beret, but I can't find it. You guys seen a look that I did similar to this with a beret. It would be really cute with one too, but I just can't find it. So yeah, we stick it with the headband. But now we're gonna move on to the next look. Okay, so next up, I'm looking real festive, okay? But this is just a very chill look. So I have this graphic tee. And this is in a size medium and then I have these joggers which are also in a size medium and I just got this because you guys know I love my super chill looks and lately I've been stepping up my sneaker game and wearing them a lot more because I have so many freaking sneakers but I never wear any of them so I vowed to get clothes that go with my shoes so I can wear them these joggers are just everything they're super thick very very warm perfect for the cooler months which we're approaching i mean i'm in texas so it's still a little hot still but it's getting there you know it's getting there so i did keep on this red headband and i'm looking very christmasy right now but i probably wouldn't wear this headband because i just want like a super chill look so i'd probably take this off but i really really like this it's very simple this little logo here says plt and it's green and white so that's why i paired it with this green and white top and then because it's such a chill vibe i'm just going to pair it with my ones these are the lucky green ones and it literally goes perfectly with this outfit so i would just wear this and call it a day if we were going out and we could go to the movies this would be like a movie fit for me because this is the kind of stuff that i like to wear to the movies so yeah i just wanted to feature a very chill outfit because this is the kind of vibe i've been on lately <laughs> honestly and truly so yeah we're gonna move on to this. so this right here is a look okay i feel like i need to literally go somewhere that requires me to wear something like this because this is a vibe okay i picked these two pieces to go together not knowing that they would go perfectly together i knew that they were the same material similar in color but i was kind of like what if one of them is like darker what if them is lighter so this i was a little nervous about but i was also very excited because this is obviously very much out of my comfort zone but it's such a freaking look you guys okay i did that okay i don't have any other pieces to pair with this right now but sis okay this is giving me 
I don't even really know, honestly. Honestly, you could wear this to like a holiday party if you wanted to just step out. Now I have to go find a fire bag and some shoes to go with this outfit because I will be wearing this before the year is up, okay? I will find an excuse to wear this somewhere. I know there's not many places we can go, but sis, this right here needs to be seen in public, okay? She needs to be seen. So this bodysuit I got in a US 6 and then these leggings I got a US 4. And the leggings, I always get a four because they have a lot of stretch in them. And I just kind of already know what to expect when it comes to certain bottoms on PLT. So I got a four and they fit me perfectly. Okay, perfect. And then this bodysuit is a US 6, like I said. The top of it is faux leather. And the bottom of it is like this, I don't want to say mesh, but it's not like the same material as the top. So it's very comfortable. It's not this material at the bottom because if it was this, You'd be hot. Okay, you'd be a little hot down there. So yeah, you guys let me know down below if you would rock this outfit right here. And if you would, what would you pair with it? Would you keep it very simple? Would you do like all burgundy, like a monochromatic look? Or would you get something that has like burgundy in it to kind of like break it up a little bit? Like let me know down below because I need to know because I need to wear this somewhere. Sis, okay, this jumpsuit, life has been given, okay? This is from the Shape Collection on PLT. And with them, I always, I just know it's gonna be fire. Like, I just always know, okay? This I got in the US 6 and it fits me perfectly, okay? I was kind of nervous because I was like, I hope it has enough stretch. I hope it's not like super stiff. You know how a lot of denim jumpsuits are. But this one is so stretchy, not to the point where I would size down. I would definitely stick with your true to size because I have on a size 6 and that is my true size and this fits me perfectly, you guys perfectly okay it does have these cute little zipper details here and then in the front it does have the zipper so it just stops right there and it gives you like a little bit of cleavage y'all know ain't nothing going on up here but it looks like i got something going on okay and then not to mention it does have a belt here so you can cinch in the waist even more than it already is so this is what it looks like when it's not tied oh yes Yes, ma'am, give me a little body yaddy, okay? At first, when I picked this out, I was gonna wear it with some strappy heels, but when I got it, it was just giving me like army vibes, you know what I mean? So I have these boots on with it, which I think looks super cute. Some really, really high combat boots. You could wear regular combat boots, but I feel like the heel on the boot makes it more feminine and that's the look that I'm going for being that obviously you have the cleavage out, it's really tight fitted, it's really snug, very curvaceous. So yeah, this is definitely one of my top three, you guys. If you don't try anything in this video, please try this jumpsuit, okay? I, I promise you it's gonna fit you like a dream, okay? Promise. This right here is definitely the best fitting jumpsuit that I've ever tried on in my entire life and that is no exaggeration whatsoever. Okay, okay. So the very last outfit we have here is this all white number. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really feeling all of these pieces together, but I do love them all individually. I was kind of going for, I can't really, kind of like the look that I showed you in the beginning with the plaid skirt, but just a little bit different. But I don't know if I'm liking it too much. Um, I feel like maybe the boots don't necessarily go with the whole outfit. But you guys will see the whole thing and let me know down below if you would rock this all together. So this white button down I got in a US 8 because it was labeled as oversized and I wanted it to be a little bit of room but still fitted so I got a US 8 instead of my normal US 6. And this skirt is the same exact skirt as the plaid one I showed you in the beginning. So I got the exact same size. It does have the split here on the side as well. And because this shirt is kind of long, you could kind of see the shirt through there, which I don't mind because it kind of covers you up a little bit. You guys let me know if these boots look good or you would just stick with like a matte, like no texture boot with this. I don't know, I feel like it kind of goes and then it kind of doesn't. I don't really know, but I really do like this all white look for sure. So these boots right here are to die for, okay? These are gorgeous. I love how high they are. I love the heel, I love the way the bottom looks. The texture is so nice. I just don't know how I feel about it with this outfit necessarily. So yeah, this is definitely a vibe. I love it, you guys. I'm really obsessed with these skirts. So if you see another one of these on my Instagram, okay, if you keep seeing these skirts 
in my videos don't mind me okay i always go through these phases of being obsessed with a particular style of something and these skirts have easily become one of my obsessions so this was the very last look i have in today's video definitely comment down below your favorite look in today's video if you would style anything a little bit differently if you would rock these boots with this outfit let me know y'all already know that pretty little thing comes through with the sales all year round but just imagine okay black friday sale cyber monday sale sis definitely head over to Pretty Little Thing. I'll have all the links down below. So definitely be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's get her to 3,000 likes for your girl. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And thank you so much if you aren't new and you're returning to watch my videos. Also be sure to head over to Pretty Little Things YouTube and subscribe to their channel as well. And like I said, let me know down below your favorite look or favorite piece in today's video. And if you're gonna be checking out Pretty Little Things Black Friday sale, so yeah, with all of that being said, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you all in my next one.